Hi, welcome to Whole Lactate Love. I'm Mike Rosso. And I'm Zach Smith. And today we're going to show you the fun drip style machines. Um, we have the BX, the GRX, and the NHBX. Before we get into the machines themselves, Let's have Mike tell us a little bit about who Bun is and their history in the coffee business. Well, Bun uh, was the originator of the paper uh, filter back in 1957. They, the concept of coming up something other than stainless steel filters and brew baskets they were using disposable. And then in 1963, they developed what's called the pour-over uh, type system. And these are what have come from the generations later. All right, when you order your Bun machine, you're going to get it to your house and it's going to be in the box. So. Briefly, we'll show you how it looks when it's in the box. We have the machines out already, so I'm not going to take them out. Right. But we'll show them what they can expect in the box. You're going to get your cleaning brush. Deliming de spring. We'll show you how to use that later. Instructions manual. And I don't want to pull it out, but there's also a quick, quick reference guide that comes with the initial setup. Shows you initially set up the machine. So, quick reference guide, pretty handy. In the box itself, you have the machine, one piece, you don't have to put anything together. You have the craft, and you have the ground container. So, once you take all the parts out of the box, this you will put them together, which you see on your far left. Up right over here. Now, before, when you receive this machine, the tank in the back will be empty, shipped empty. It only actually weighs about uh, six pounds empty. And this, there's a little important notice here. You keep the switch off. If, when you receive your machine, It'll be in the off position. Oop, let me just take that right off, get that out of the way. And this would be the off position. That actually heats the water in your tank, and it also powers the switch on the front for your warmer. Warmer's on the bottom there, it's a porcelain warmer. Okay, so when you receive the machine, again, the tank will be empty, you can have the switch off, and you're gonna need to fill the machine. Um, it holds 70 ounces of water. Uh, the craft that you get from Bun is marked uh, for 10 cups, and this holds 50 ounces, so Bun's figuring 50 ounce, uh, 5 ounce cups. So what you're going to do is you're going to pour in the machine, and basically be about a pot and a half of water. And you'll know that it's filled when, now nothing's going to throw through yet, flow through yet. The way the machine design, when I close this door, and again I'll show you when we brew coffee, this little plunger is going to go down and that's going to allow the water to cold water to go into the tank to brew. And what happens here is the cold water is forced to the bottom of the tank, all the hot water rises up and there's an inlet tube that goes through into your spray head and onto your grounds and you make coffee. So after you put your first pot of cold water in there before you, when you start up, you push this down and you can hear that running. See it coming down. Once you know you put about a pot and a half of water, it'll fill the pot and then you know the tank is full. So we'll be almost ready to brew here in a minute. Um, Zach, you want to get some coffee for us? Sure. Perfect. Now, after you've filled the tank and your water's coming through, again, we start with a full tank on this one, you're going to turn your switch into the on position, and then you're going to know you're ready to go. It takes about 15 minutes to heat up. So one nice feature about this switch is if you want to save energy, you can turn it off when you go to work in the morning. But do keep in mind, it takes about 15 minutes to heat up. Um, so schedule yourself accordingly. So allow yourself about 15 minutes from the initial startup. And again, it's designed to be on all the time, except for if you'd like to save some energy or if you go away for a couple weeks. So now that your, your tank is filled, Zach's got a coffee there for us. Today we're going to use the Lavazza Premium Drip Coffee. Um, we have it in our filter, and the filter just go in the filter basket. And what you want to do is it's about one tablespoon per cup. So there's ten cups here. We put ten tablespoons in to make the appropriate coffee mixture. Okay. So once this is finished up, I'll put this in the uh, brew basket, and we will be ready to brew coffee. Yeah. I'll stop there a second. Now, when you do start to brew after you pour your water. You are going to want to turn the warmer switch on. That will help keep the coffee hot. Okay, that's a 46 watt, 46 watt porcelain warmer. Okay. All right, ready to brew. So again, you're, now the tank's been filled. You know you're ready to go. After it's heated, you're about 15 minutes. You take your brew basket, 
Insert your ground and filter. And filter. See, this is a number four filter that Bun uses, by the way. You're just going to slide this back in here. Your brew basket in position. You can turn the warmer on. This has nothing to do with the brew cycle. Again, the brew cycle is, is actuated by this little lever going down. So when I pour this water in, no, no water is going to be going through the machine. And again, you would pour cold water in. Once the water's in there, put your pot down, and then push that door, and that will activate it. And you're starting to brew. You can see already how fast it's coming out. It takes about three minutes to brew coffee. So again, about 15 minutes to heat the water in the tank from initial setup. While That's we're waiting for that to brew, let's uh, take a look at the features of this machine. Yeah, let me go over the uh, how it actually brews, too, to start. Well, and again, remember, we pour our water in here, we're ready to start. And after you pour your water, you push the little door down. And what happens is, I'm going to take this top off here. By you pouring your water in, this is just going to sit in. This is what's called the fill basin. It holds, it holds a little over 50 ounces, so you don't have to worry about it flowing over. Again, pour it in slowly. It slopes down, and it'll fill up. Now, when you close that trap door on the top, this, when you push this down, that allows the plunger to go up in the back. And when the plunger goes up in the back, the water will actually hold it up in place, like this. And then once you're, as the water starts empty from the basin, then it'll just reseal itself again. Okay, Zach. Continue with the, the design and so on. Okay, internally, Bun features a 800 watt heating element with a stainless steel tank which holds for 70 ounces of water. Um, it has an internal thermostat which keep, keeps water at the ideal temperature to brew. It's really nice. Um, you have the ability to brew 10 cups in under 3 minutes, so it's a pretty fast machine. On the BX model, you can see that there is a stainless finish. And on the GRX model, it is a plastic housing over the stainless, so exact same machine, except for the GRX has the housing and the BX does not. Right, when he says exact same machine, they have the same switches, the same tanks, the same heating elements, and the same fill procedure. And as Mike said earlier, we have the 46 watt porcelain coated warmer. This is where the craft will sit, keeping your coffee warm after it has brewed. You only want to let it sit here for about 20 to 30 minutes, because any longer than that, the taste of the coffee is going to vary, and you want to get the best coffee. 50 ounce craft, ground basket. This is your on off switch for the porcelain heating. And up top, you have your water fill. So. Now, if we can, I want to take a look at the NHBX. Also, the exact same machine, although it does not look like it. What they have done is they have made it a little smaller to fit on the countertop better. They took the heating element, instead of having it go vertical, it now goes horizontal, which allows for the compact design. To fill your water, this would slide over instead of flip up. Yeah, that's the one difference between yep. the two. And the same principle, it has the float back there, and it allows water to go down into the tank. And once again, the tank will, as long as the power switch is on the side, um, the tank will stay continually heating. It's like a hot water tank at home. You've got water in it all the time. It's on demand, ready to be used. And we brewed here about 165 degrees. Uh, it's pretty. We found that the actual coffee ended up 165 degrees, and the brew temperature is about 200 degrees, which is optimal temperature. So now, when we go over some cleaning, um, unlike a uh, Espresso machine, where there's no descaling involved in this machine where you would put uh, your descaler in the tank. Because this tank is always filled with water, you would have a residual part of whatever descaler you would use. Um, get rid of that for me. No so it's all done brewing. You see, our coffee came out. And you want to clean up, um, other than wiping down with a, a light soapy towel and that type of thing, wiping here, um, you can remove. I'll show you in this machine here. You can remove the spray head. If you look in here, you can see it's what's called the spray head. It's where the water showers onto the coffee. You see the little holes in there. Um, and you can, why well, after you've removed that, you can take what's called the deliming spring, which comes with the machine. Some of the machines have a little st different style, but it's still the same concept. And you're going to place this in this hole right here. 
right in the top where your spray head should be, and you're just going to push that through. And what that does is there is like an, a U, what's called an inlet tube. It goes like this, and your spray head's in this, and your tank's here, and you push that up, and that's where your buildup would, if any would happen, would be in that inlet tube. Just push that through a few times, and you get that clean. Put your spray head back on. Now for cleaning your right in here, right back on. Now for cleaning your uh, your carafe or your brew basket, uh, light soap and water. I don't recommend putting in the dishwasher again. Um, they have a problem called the uh, Ernex coffee equipment cleaner. And what you do is you pour this in here, put some water in here. You're going to dilute the packet and the 50 ounces of water. Scrub brush. You can do the same with the um, the brew basket or the top. The top stamps off like that. You can stick the top in there a little bit. Stick the brew basket in there a little bit with the urnex and then flush it out. It's important that you have this clean, your brew basket clean from excessive coffee buildup because um, then that will affect the flavor of your coffee as you're uh, brewing it over and over. You get continual oils and stuff that carry over. So that pretty much sums up the cleaning and the equipment. So just to recap, we took a look at the NHBX, the GRX, and the BX. If you have any other questions on the bun machines, drip coffee, any questions at all, give us a call. What's our number, Mike? 1-888-411-5282. Option 1. Whole Latte Love Sales Department. Thank Thanks you. for joining us.